Well, summer, of course, means spending more time outdoors and more chances to come in contact with ticks. Now, they can be a source of serious illness, but identifying the tiny insects on your own isn't always easy. News Channel 9's Rob Hackford tonight explains how a proposed bill could potentially cut down on the number of people living with Lyme. We showed you last week how researchers from Upstate Medical University are collecting ticks at Green Lake State Park. While they're easy to see in this video, in everyday life it is much more difficult, and the number of cases speaks for itself. Um, I have seen a steady increase in the cases of Lyme every single year that I've been here, um, and we're early in this year, and I've already seen a ton of cases. That's why Congressman John Katka was reviving a piece of legislation he proposed back in 2017. It's called the Tick Identification Pilot Program. In short order, you see a tick, you take a picture with your phone, you text it to these individuals, and they will tell you right away what the deal is. That's what we're talking about. While the bill failed two years ago, the idea is to use an app to connect everyday people and experts at labs like this one at Upstate Medical University. You know, you can see that each tick is different. Each tick has a specific morphological features, and we have uh, standard keys for this particular region. Once the ticks are collected and brought to the lab, they go through a multi-step process. At this stage, they're placed into a vial and broken up by little tiny BBs and turned basically into a tick smoothie. So we let that run for up to five minutes. So at that point, we go through a series of buffer solutions through an extraction column. Pulling out the tick's DNA, testing for diseases, and like the ones at Green Lakes, identify characteristics that may be unique to central New York. In Syracuse, Rob Hackford, News Channel 9. And now the lab is looking to expand its testing to include other more infectious tick-borne diseases, and that work is expected to be completed by sometime next spring.